This is a Full and Bloom news brief. More info at fullandbloom.com. According to TMZ, authorities are ruling metal church vocalist Mike Howell's death a suicide. A spokesperson from the Humboldt County Sheriff's Department told the site that Mike's cause of death was determined to be asphyxia due to hanging. Cops got the call on Monday just after 10 a.m. in Eureka, California, reporting an unexpected death at a home. The Sheriff's Department also revealed that drugs and alcohol were not believed to be factors in his death and no controlled substances or paraphernalia were found in the home where he died. Earlier today, the surviving members of Metal Church responded to the TMZ report. If you knew Mike Howe, then you knew he was a truly good human being who loved his friends, his family, and his many fans around the world. He would always go the extra mile to make someone feel good, and he would always give you the shirt off his back if you needed it. We ask that you remember Mike in that way and for the amazing metal music he created. As to what really happened, he was victimized by a failed healthcare system and subsequently poisoned by the venom of Big Pharma. In short and in essence, he fell prey to the real fake healer. Enough said. After receiving some backlash from the drama pigs, Metal Church released another statement concerning our recently deleted post addressing the news that Mike's passing was a suicide. We wanted to dispel any misconceptions that might have arisen from certain media reports. In our efforts to do that, our attempts at honesty created a narrative that fell outside our purest intentions. We were in no way, shape, or form referring to anything in relation to vaccines, COVID, or politics. We were saying our brother brother was hurting, and while he was seeking medical care for it, the treatments that he was utilizing did not protect him, otherwise he would still be with us today. This is an extremely difficult time for everyone who knew Mike personally and those that knew him through the music. We are all still processing the loss of our brother. We apologize that the original statement was misunderstood or created an incorrect dialogue. We ask that you please stop attacking each other in relation to Mike's passing and Metal Church. We ask that you take that energy and use it to keep Mike's memory alive by sharing the music he created while he was with us. We want Metal Church music to bring people together as it has over the years and not be divisive. Godspeed Mike Howe, we love you. Following reports of Mike Howe's death, tributes from around the music world poured in. From Armored Saint, like many of you, we are deeply saddened by the passing of our metal brother Mike Howe from Metal Church. We are fortunate to have toured with Mike and Metal Church, and you could always count on Mike lifting your spirits with a flash of his smile on stage and off. We will always have his music and the memories we shared together, but he will be greatly missed. Our sincerest condolences to Mike's family and friends and to the entire Metal Church family. Rest in peace, Mike. From Chris Holmes, I toured with Metal Church. They opened for Wasp late 1980, and I met and partied with Mike, and I always had a great time with him. He treated me with the utmost respect. I enjoyed his voice. Rest in peace, Mike. All my condolences to his family and my friends, Stett and Steve. Queens Riot guitarist Michael Wilton, words fail. We all lost not only an amazing singer, but a tremendously great guy. Our bands cross paths many times and we often spoke of touring together. Here's Todd with Mike and the guys in Metal Church at Rockfest in Barcelona, Spain. Rest in peace, Mike Al. And then there's this one, which I just thought was cool. It comes from username Sick Things on Twitter. Rest in peace, Mike Al. One of the nicest dudes who's ever come through my work. He saw me carrying a big folding table for their hospitality and he jumped up and ran over to help. I tell that story all the time because he's one of the first artists who treated me working floor as human. If you'd like to read more tributes to Mike Howe, visit fullandbloom.com. Click the link below. Full and bloom.